Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The KI's KF-21 is South Korea's indigenously developed fighter jet first envisioned in November 2000. In April 2021, South Korea unveiled the prototype of its first indigenous fighter formerly known as KFX. The 4.5th generation Korean fighter took its first flight in July 2022, almost six and a half years after its development kicked off. It took almost 20 years after the project was announced to build its prototype. With this, South Korea has joined elite group of countries that have domestically developed supersonic fighter jet. KF-21 is designed to be cheaper, less stealthy, alternative of USA's F-35. Its operational cost is also half when compared with F-35s. The Korean Aerospace Industries KAI, manufacturer of the aircraft, has now recently unveiled the carrier-based version of KF-21 called KF-21N, which will operate from the aircraft carrier to be built under the CVX program of South Korea. Talking about CVX program, it is South Korean Aircraft Carrier Development Program announced in August 2020. The Korean Navy envisions to build aircraft carrier by 2033 under fully operational condition. The approximate cost of development of CVX is expected close to $2 billion and $45 million per year to maintain it. The carrier is expected to have length of 265 meters and width of 43 meters and displacement of around 30,000 ton or 40,000 ton. It will be able to operate 16 F-35B fighters and 8 helicopters from its deck. The carrier will have two islands and will not be equipped with ski jump. However, the CVX program did not receive the funding in the latest budget proposal released few days ago, which puts a doubt in the future of this program. The initial plan was to operate 20 short takeoff vertical landing F-35B Lightning II Joint Strike Fighters from the aircraft carrier. But in July, the Republic of Korea Air Force purchased F-35A ground variant, putting the carrier program in further doubts. As reported by Naval News, on 19 September, the Chairman of Joint Chief of Staff of South Korea said that the military will consider acquiring an aircraft carrier that is larger than the current CVX design if a capable fighter is developed domestically. He was hinting towards KF-21 naval variant or KF-21N. At present, the South Korean Defense Expo is going on where KAI has displayed a model of KF-21N or naval carrier-borne fighter jet. The naval variant has slightly bigger dimension when compared to the land variant. It has total length of 17.1 meters, height of 5.2 meters and width of 12.3 meters. The fighter jet is also having higher MTOW that is maximum takeoff weight compared to its land variant. It will have a payload capacity of 7,620 kg and a maximum takeoff weight of 25,600 kg. The aircraft features foldable wing. It will be powered by the same twin engine as KF-21, which is US-made F414G400K. The KF-21N will have same maximum thrust and maximum takeoff weight as KF-21. It will have a maximum speed of Mach 1.6. The fighter jet is still in conceptualization phase and its future much depends on the South Korean's CVX aircraft carrier program. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.